Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben Vialad and today I'm going to be doing the third of the Cloudwater and Vale Brewing um, collab. This one is a 10% tipper, three of them are. Uh, this one's the second tipper I've had out of this bundle or having out of this bundle. And this one is Chubbles. Um, I think I've done it backwards. Uh, I think this one was meant to be the second beer, but it doesn't really matter. It's beer at the end of the day. Three tippers in this box, and uh, well I say box, but collection, I'm quite happy with it. Because um, if anyone knows, I love a tipper. Um, so yeah, this these were all donated to me by the Beer Dad. Very grateful for that. They cost £40 altogether. This is an £11 tipper. So are the other, th uh, other two. And then the IPA is £7. Bit expensive for me. I don't usually go above £8 for a tipper, unless it's Fancy, what well, I mean, fancy, and the beers have been good. Would I pay eleven pounds for a tipper from the first one? No, I probably again put that eight and nine pounds. But I don't know. Uh, it's just one of them. I just you just have to deal with it, uh, or just not get it. Um, there's no guff on the cans uh, at all for some reason, but I do quite like this can art. It's just space Milky Way. There's uh, little. Um, satellite in the corner and then a skull up there. Looks really nice. Um, let's crack it open, see what we got. I quite like the first tip. I think I gave it an 8 or a 9. Um, I think. So I'm looking forward to this one. Right. So, there's our beer. A nice... Um, mango juice golden beer with a compact ivory head. Looks really, really nice. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Mangoes, pineapple, passion fruit, straight away. All really, really strong as well. Stone fruit in there. There's a nice pine smell to it as well. Apricots. It smells really, really good, but let's get a mouthful of Bodding Cob. Carb's nice and light. There's a nice little tickle there. Body's medium to full. Um, that's really, really juicy, though. That is really, really juicy. It's like drinking just... It's like drinking a smoothie, but not as thick. So just like one of them... Um, what are they called? Don't want the little face on it. I can't remember. Um, it'll come to me in the video. But it's like drinking a smoothie or a, a fruit juice smoothie. It's really good. Um, let's give it a little taste, shall we? Cheers. Innocent, that's it. I've just got you on a picture. Innocent smoothies, that's that's what it's like, uh, body-wise. Uh, flavour, absolutely stunning. Um, that was, that is, uh, uh, that's, that's really, really good. Um, that is a lot better than the one I had previously, Chubbles Chubbles. Um, I think this one's a lot better, personally. Flavour, it's pretty well balanced. Very, very fruity, very exotic, very juicy, very ripe, really, really nice. And mango. Uh, passion fruit really dominant in this. You've got an undertone of pineapple, a little bit of grapefruit in there, which you didn't get in the smell, so I'm glad I've got a bit of added flavour in there. It's not just what you smell, is what you get. You get an extra bit as well. Uh, so, yeah, you've got your grapefruit in there. There's a little bit of plum, um, an apricot as well, really nice. Again, not over overpowering, still quite nice and balanced, quite light. It's very, very fruity, very juicy. It's very... Not everywhere, the flavours work together, but there's a lot of it. And then underneath it all does have this very, very, and I do mean very mild, bitterness to it. Uh, it's got this sort of resinous pine taste to it, which I got in the smell of the pine, but you do get in the taste as well, which is really good, and I do quite like it. Um, 10%. I've got to say... You get a lot. You get this this inkling of ten percent. You get this little little warmth at the back of your throat. Bless you. A uh, little warmth at the back of your throat, just there. 
besides that there is no sort of way to tell that this is a 10% beer it is very well hidden it's very nice and it, the, the slight booze that you get there works well with the fruit that you've already got it's just so good it's very well balanced and it kind of reminds me why I like cloud water pardon me because this kind of stuff is just absolutely cracking um, it's just the price for me the price is just too too dear um, you're paying over a pound a percentage and I wouldn't pay that I don't normally pay that unless it's like I say a special beer um, to me these are just tippers they're very high-end tippers but they're not in special they're just a collab tipper so yeah the only thing that knocks me for this is the price everything else about the beer is absolutely bang on and I really really like that um, so I think I'm gonna go away and enjoy this because I do enjoy it and I do like a tipper they are, they are next to imperial stouts I'm oh, sorry yeah tippers then imperial stouts these are my favorite type of beer very very good so um like i said i'm gonna go away in this uh go away and enjoy this um so cloud water and the veil brewing's troubles 10 percent tipper out of 10 i'm gonna give that a solid 9 out of 10 that would be a 10 except it's 11 pound and i don't condone buying 11 pound beers unless it's really really special and you have a, a it's like a limited number and it's they're never going to make it again or something like that um I wouldn't buy this if it was a standard tipper. If this was just a run of the mill a standard release, I wouldn't buy that for eleven pound. But yeah, it's it's a nine out of ten. Only knocking it for the price. So if you have had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to both Cloudwater and the Veil vale Brewing's websites down below. I don't know if you can get them from either of the websites anymore, because this series is about a month and a half past when it came out so i'm a bit behind the trend but i'm trying to get it done anyway um so i don't know if they're still selling them but if they are if you if you can justify 40 pack 10 pound a beer is essentially what you're paying 40 quid for four if you can justify that get it if you don't want to spend a t uh, 40 quid on four beers i don't blame you just watch the videos and i'll tell you what they taste like this one so far is the best out of the pack and i quite like it um They've all been really good, but this is the best. So, links will be down below anyway. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.